Well, Tracy, over here. Uh, we see you checking yourself out in the oh, the, 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 the camera and stuff. So you're just looking at the, the bruising stuff. So physically, how are you feeling after that fight? I feel great. I feel really good. I'm in good spirits. Happy, happy to be here. Happy to come back and have that, that performance that I did, you know, really showcase my hands a lot more, show my evolution, how I've evolved and grown. I was going to ask about that. Uh, a lot of people online are saying, like, they haven't seen you box this well in the UFC. So was that the game plan coming in? And was that the focus on in, in fight camp preparing for this fight? N um, you know, yes, that was the game plan. We knew that she was going to fight the way that she did. Um, so with my team, it was more of just getting me comfortable in there. So they really made sure we brought out girls every week. Every week we made sure we had new looks, we had new girls coming in, um, from world Muay Thai fighters to Bellator fighter girls. I mean, you can you name it, wrestlers. We, they were coming in, just giving me different looks, making sure that I was comfortable. And coming here today, it, it gave me that confidence. When you pointed at your hair, did she pull your hair in there when she landed that head kick? It looked like you were pointing it. Like, yes, you guys are yes, she was there, and I'm. I'm She's not even holding, she wasn't even holding my head, she was pulling my hair, and I'm looking at her like, are you serious? And she follows with a head kick, and I was like, what the fuck? What was she I saying just, back to you? Because there was a moment in there when you guys just seemed to be just yelling at each other. Just like, she said something like, like cussing me out, and this. I didn't pull your hair. I was like, I didn't even say you pulled it. Like, you're just, why are you, like, what? You know, but it's okay. And people online, and even when you were walking out, they seemed upset on your placement of the card. They thought you should have been on the main card. They thought you were fighting too low on the card. Yeah. Did it bother you? Did you want to be higher up on this card? I mean, a little bit, you know? <laughs> a little bit, I was a little salty. Like, come on, man. Like, I know I have a big fan base coming in to watch me and support me, but it's okay, you know, uh, much respect. There's a lot of athletes here that are consistent. Um, I'm very accountable and I know that I haven't been too consistent and hopefully um, you guys will see a change in that so as time goes by you you will see me move up and after the fight you, you obviously were visibly emotional in there but yeah. before the interview with DC so what has been the last year and a half been like for you and when this fight is over did all was that just a massive release in there when you got the win it, it was a little bit of everything you know this year has been extremely rough on me uh, I'm really grateful for my team. Because of them, I am, I am where I'm at. You know, they, they, they've made sure that I've been on track every single day. They're checking on me. My mentor, Dave Zoin, my coaches, Santino and Eddie, everybody, my, my friends, my family, everyone's making sure that I'm in, I came here with the right headspace. Um, I was extremely emotional because yesterday I got a call from I'm gonna say my family, because I've known them my entire life, that uh, someone really close to my heart had passed away. So I, I, I had to just be very professional and just be disciplined and show up. The last one for me, uh, in terms of your fighting career, what do you want the rest of your year to look like? I know you said you, weren't, you want to be more active. Do you want to get another one in before the end of the year? Absolutely. Um, of course, this is something I'm gonna have to talk to my coaches about, but I'm healthy, I'm good, so if, we can get if we can get something in in December, January, that would be ideal. Tracy, you made it pretty clear that um, you want the belt. Uh, that that's that's coming in your future. How far do you see it? Um, I don't know. I, I don't know, but I know that I don't want to just fight to fight. You know, I've been in the UFC long enough. Um, I'm undefe undefeated in the UFC. I don't even know what. How, what streak I'm in. I'm going to celebrate this win and after that, behind me and on to the next. But I, I, I do want to make a title run. Absolutely. And uh, obviously you heard of the, the pop, you heard of the Mexico, Mexico, you know, you heard your name. Um, yeah. It seemed that fueled you, right? Like, can you talk about uh, the feeling of fighting in Noche UFC, this yeah. event that's, you know, um, in, in celebration of Mexican independence? Ah, it's an honor. It's truly an honor to be here. To, to see the crowd, to hear their energy, to hear them chanting my name. You know, I'm, I'm not just a fighter, I'm an entertainer, I'm a performer, and I wanted to give them a good show tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Would you like to see the UFC continue to do this, like an annual tradition, sort of boxing style? Boxing obviously builds events around yeah. September 16th. 
Absolutely. I mean, I think it'll be great. Look, I mean, you can see just what a great turnout it came out to be. Everybody, there's so much raza here. There's so many Mexicans supporting us, and um, it'll be it'll be an honor to have another one next year. And I would love to be a part of it if there is. Thank you. It, Hey, Tracy, I'm with Latin Times, a new publication that focuses on news for Latin Americans like yourself, um, Latin Americans in the U.S., Chicanas. Uh, for you, um, having a new UFC, how is uh, your heritage coming to, you know, driving you to do well? It's, it's everything, you know. I, I, I'm a proud American. I, I, I'm, I'm very blessed and grateful to have the opportunity to pursue my dreams and goals here. Um, but... My roots run deep. I'm, I'm a, just as proud as I am to be American. I'm so proud to be Mexican. That's, that's what you guys saw in there tonight, heart of a Mexican. Another question for the young Latinas, Latinos, people who you inspire, uh, what would you want to tell them? To not give up, not give up. Life isn't easy, you know? Life tends to throw some curveballs at us and um, you could always have it worse. Just don't give, no se rindan, keep going. One more. Um, tonight, it seemed like you were in a battle the entire time. Uh, was this one of your tougher fights? Uh, n no, I just, it was, this, I would say this is probably the first fight I felt comfortable in there. I felt comfortable. I saw everything. It, the game plan, it, it, she fought exactly how we knew she was going to fight. I just had to make sure I stayed disciplined into the game plan and listen to my coaches. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Tracy. Uh, if you don't want to talk about this, that's okay, understood. But I think the person that you, you lost yesterday is that, that's Gloria Cejudo, correct? Yes. And what did she mean to you? She was, she was, um, she was a big sister. She was a big sister and uh, cancers and, uh, a nasty disease, and I just, I want to honor her, and I wanted to perform to the best that I can, and I want to dedicate this fight to her. Uh, Tracy, back here. Um, in the lead up to the fight, now that you are back, you're still on a win streak. It seems like there's been a lot of tying you to Aaron Blanchfield, who's also now doing very well since you guys fought. Um, I was wondering, how do you feel about that? Do you feel like fans and maybe the media a little bit are tying you a little too much to her? And it's more like, you know, if we run it back again in the future, that's then. But for right now, we've both just kind of moved on. Yeah, I think we both moved. I, I moved on. I know she has, I see her doing great in her career. Good for her. Um, respects to her. I saw her at the PI the other day. I said, hey, Blanche, I said, respects. I've seen you rise on the career. Like, good shit, you know? But as far as me personally, I'm focused on that title. And when that time comes for, if we do face each other, well, I mean, I'm sure there will be a time. But as of right now, it's n not now. <laughs> Just from the outside then, as a fan and like the rest of us, do you feel like she is going to be next for the winner of Valentina and Alexa? Oh, I'm not too focused on that. I don't know what's next for her. I just know what I want in my career. And then I wanted to ask, you know, we know the internet, you know, can be a little rough. There's sometimes a lot of talk about, you know, your personal life and relationships. Having to deal with that in the public eye, uh, what did you learn about yourself having to go through that and people maybe wanting to get in your business when you're not going to talk about it? Just not talk about it. <laughs> Continue, you know. I uh, just not talk about it. That's it. No one's entitled to my personal life. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you. Tracy, felicidades con el triunfo. Muchas gracias. Obviamente, de nada, una ventuna. Noche tan tremenda, tan, una linda memoria que creaste. Primero, que es el mensaje para tus fans latinos, mexicanos, todos que te siguen y te apoyan en tu carrera con el UFC. Pues más que nada les quiero dar las gracias a uh, no no más los latinos, pero los mexicanos por todo el apoyo que me han dado. Los vi hoy afuera en en, en el crowd y era era un orgullo, era un orgullo que me levantaron la mano y escuchar los gritos de todos y todos gritar mi nombre se sintió se siente bien bonito pues y hablando de eso uh, 
aunque alguien dijo, oh, debería de estar en la estelar, coestelar, cartelera principal, no importa dónde te pongan, el apoyo que has tenido desde Contender Series continúa creciendo y creciendo y te sigue más. ¿Qué padre es eso? ¿Qué, qué bonito? ¿Cómo se siente si lo puedes explicar? No, 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 no hay una palabra para decir cómo se siente, ¿verdad? Yo nomás miro y no, no entiendo por qué me apoyan a lo máximo que me han apoyado, pero yo sí sé que sí estoy bien agradecida. Yo, yo, yo siento tan bonito, no, 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 no se puede explicar lo bonito que se siente, ¿verdad? Pero es un honor y, y más que nada es como una responsabilidad de, de dar del ejemplo, ¿verdad? No, de, no nomás ser latina, pero mexicana, americana y enseñar que, hey, aunque yo estoy aquí en los Estados Unidos, yo estoy representando a México también. De acuerdo, y finalmente para mí, con tu desempeño, ¿qué es lo que te sentiste más feliz o dijiste, ah, vamos a tener que trabajar en esto, el lunes cuando regrese al gym? Califícate tú sola, de 1 a 10, ¿cómo peleaste hoy? Mm, yo digo como un 6, mm, no estoy muy contenta, yo la quise noquear. Hoy quise dar un, un buen show para los fans, ¿verdad? Pero no, 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 no lo puedo terminar. Ah, entonces, lo bueno que me preparé bien. Me preparé bien, me quedé enfocada, me quedé disciplinada y ah, gracias a Dios agarré la victoria. Muy bien. Ah, buen hecho y felicidades. Muchas gracias. Tracy, una bien rápido en español. Eh, vimos tus manos... Eh, que mejoraron bastante en esta pelea, vimos tu boxeo. Eh, ¿le, le, ¿Le hiciste un enfoque eso? O sea, solo es parte de tu evolución o por ser noche de UFC, la independencia de México, querías dejarle a los fans un poquito de ese, ese boxeo mexicano? No, ta, pues también tan poquito, ¿verdad? No, pero honestamente es, es algo que yo no sé por qué no, no me ha sentido nunca muy a gusto, ¿verdad? Tirar los puños así más, eh, cuando estoy peleando, pero como dije hace, hace rato, en este campamento nos enfocamos mucho en, en esa experiencia dentro de la jaula, traímos mujeres cada fin de semana para entrenar, dar diferentes looks y pues hoy se vio. ¿Qué sigue para tu carrera? Um, ahorita, que es el 16 de septiembre, unos tacos y un telicazo, no sé, a ver. Gracias. Gracias.